Over the last 10 years, the Hill Dickinson Foundation has distributed our charitable grants to a wide range of local charities and community foundation organisations. In fact, over 10 years, we have donated over £260,000 to some 59 organisations, uh, all of them are very relevant to the local communities in which each of our offices works. We work with the Community Foundation to make sure that our money is spent carefully, and goes directly to the people who can make a difference in those local communities and that each of the organisations and charities we work with are very much rooted in making sure they can make a real difference to local people. It's quite an achievement over 10 years and we're really excited now about continuing this work over the next 10 years with your help. In fact, your help's critical over the last 10 years is not just the money, but it's the hard work, effort, volunteering and time that people have given up that's making a real difference. So thank you very much. Upping its history is quite short, really. Um, I think we started in 2013 um, as an organisation of residents who live in Moss Side. We are all volunteers. We're just a group of people who, originally, we just felt that the recycling level was appalling in this neighbourhood, that there was terrible rubbish, overflowing bins, rats, mice, cockroaches. It, people were just desperate. It felt like the council didn't really help people properly to know what to do. So we started upping it as a way of trying to change that. Well, Hill Dickinson gave us enough money to do three really crucial things. We were able to start four new alleyways. We were able to green a couple of alleyways that had already been clean, but nothing else had been able to happen because we hadn't the money. And we were also able, which was a really important thing, to give 50 pounds top up money for flowers or whatever they wanted to the alleys which are already established. One really interesting thing, of course, is that alley greening doesn't need language. So a lot of the people that come and help us are people whose English is very poor, but we can just give them a tub and they can plant the flowers. And one of the most beautiful things, of course, is the role children have played. And that aspect of it is just gorgeous, and we love that. The whole alley greening uh, project has made a huge difference to the local community. I moved here nearly a year ago, uh, but then a few months after that, uh, my neighbors um, moved in. They moved from Italy and they have three children and they have come out into the alley, turned it into a little garden. And I can now hear kids playing, which is unusual and which wouldn't have happened if this project wasn't there. Everyone, all the families around the alley, they participate in whatever ways they can. Uh, and I think if it wasn't for this alley greening project, we probably wouldn't even know each other. The difference that has made is that it's brought people together. Uh, they love the alleyway, they love the plant. So what he has done for me is, is that I had a vision of doing it about five years ago. I kept on looking through my window and saying, oh, it would be amazing to get the alleyway done. So after nine months of actually get the neighbours out, we come together and we've achieved it. So it has made a massive difference. We'd really like to thank the Community Foundation and Hill Dickinson because this grant has enabled upping it to kind of move well ahead of where we were before. <laughs>